things you don't know. I know what I'm talking about. What's the first commandment? We, we just passed that. You should have no other gods but, but God. You should have no other gods but God. That means no man that God sent. That means you should not worship Jesus. How many gods do you have? Just, just one, just one. So no, you're right. We should only worship God. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's okay, that's not, I don't break that. We worship only God. Okay, then. So who's Jesus? Jesus is the revelation of the invisible God. So is Jesus a man? Absolutely. So he's not God? He's the, like I just said, he's the revelation or image of the invisible God. But he's not God, correct? He's the one who revealed God to us. He's not God the Father. We know because he perfectly reveals the invisible God, he is God with us. Is he God or is he not God? He's the word of God who reveals so, God. So Jesus is a picture of God. Yes, he's a picture, and, and it's distinct from God. It's not God, but yet he's revealing God. This reveals me, but this is not me. Stop lying. Don't say things you don't know. I know what I'm talking about. What's the first commandment? We, we just passed that. You should have no other gods but, but God. You should have no other gods but God. That means no man that God sent. That means you should not worship Jesus. How many gods do you have? Just, just one, just one. So, no, you're right. We should only worship God. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's the okay. first that's not, I don't break that. We worship only God. Okay, then. So who's Jesus? Jesus is the revelation of the invisible God. So is Jesus a man? Absolutely. So he's not God? He's the, like I just said, he's the revelation or image of the invisible God. But he's not God, correct? He's the one who revealed God to us. He's not God the Father. We know because believe. he perfectly reveals the invisible God. He is God with us. Is he God or is he not God? He's the word of God who reveals so, God. So Jesus so, is a picture. Uh, In a second, excuse me, I've got a serious cold. This is not going away, but um, <clears throat> I do crave your indulgences. In a second, I'm going to read you text after text, proving that Jesus Christ is divine and is God, okay? However, when David Lynn was debating this Muslim woman, not even a sheik, not even a scholar, a Muslim, a normal housewife. She's probably making chapati and some bread, and then suddenly she went out to go shopping. And she goes, oh, here's David Lynn. Let me go debate him. And in this moment of debate, she battered his brain like a fish, like a cod, to such degree he was not seen again. He was not seen until recently somebody posted oh it's good to see you in other words it's good to see you have survived this muslim woman battering you and give him give your mike tyson uppercut you know he went into hiding denying that jesus christ was god he was playing semantics i'm thinking wait there she was given to you a description of Allah, the moon god. Of all the 360 pagan gods, they chose Allah as if this, this is the true god. This one here, number one, number one. Right? So not in their minds, this is the true god, not Jesus. I'm not interested in Allah. I'm not interested in your 360 moon gods. To my mind, that is not the God of the Israel Israelites. That is not the God of Abraham. That is not the God of Moses. That is not the God who revealed himself to Abraham and Moses in, in, the, um, in the fiery bush. No historical connection in any way whatsoever. Just a mysterious moon present God. So we can say 50,000, you can say 10, you can say three, you can say four. It is not my God. So I don't even have to go into the semantics. I'm not interested. But this is what the, 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 
the Christians have such a low self-esteem, which is why Kanye West and Kate Perry infiltrated the Christian world. Low self-esteem. Anybody can come in, anybody, and will embrace them. That we will debate you on your pagan God terms. I'm not going to do that. I will never debate Jesus Christ, holy nature, next to your pagan gods. I'm, you're, I'm not going to do it. But this is what Christians do. Uh, but you know something? One this, one that. And they have you all twisted inside out, upside down. But look, let me just give you a few. You know, he went to them. John 8, 58. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And the Jews put up stone to kill him, because they knew what it meant. When before that, he would say, he saw Thomas under the tree. He said, how can you see me? He's not even 50 yet. Before Abraham was, I am. I am the God of Israel. I am. I'm talking to you. John 10, 30. I am. And the Father are one. I can go into deep mysteries. Why this is not the occasion. John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. I can continue. Hebrews 1 verse 3. He is the radiant of the glory of God. And the, the exact, the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. The Logos became flesh. And making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, a majesty on high. Only someone who is perfect, someone who is perfect can make remissions of sin for sins and sit at the right hand of the Father. Colossians 1, 15, he is the image of the invisible God, the first fruit, the firstborn of all creation. John 20, 28, Thomas answered, my Lord and my God. And the text continues and continues and continues and continues. Verses where even in the court of law, no prosecution would be able to withstand the evidence that Jesus Christ indeed is divine, indeed came from heaven, that he showed it in his miraculous nature when he rose the dead purely by his mouth, that same mouth when he says, when the dead in Christ shall rise because I will wake them up from their sleep. I, the power of God, the finger of God, I who am God, in God, will raise you up from the sleep. Only God can do that. And you allow these Muslims, fanatics, you allow them to copy their two penny worth Allah, two penny worth, who can't even do one miracle. You allow some Muslim with a, with a, with a prophet Marrying an eight-year-old child into bootlicking and food stamps and God knows what. To compare him. To the Holy One of Israel, there's something wrong with you. You end up losing debates to these lot. There's something wrong with you. The problem with Christians, we all want to go out there preaching. We all want to go out there preaching. And you know something? We get our ass whooped. Pride. <laughs> Pride. We're not going to preach it for God. It's for ourselves. We want to be seen of men as if we've got some knowledge. And they come along. Like when Peter was casting out demons and the disciples, the one who became Christians, trying to show off, trying to cast out demons, and the demons whipped their butt. They ran up, they ran up the street, bare butt, bare butt. Oh, where we go to? Where we go to? 
The Bible says, when you are milk, you are milk. When you, when you are tough, tough meat, tough meat, then you will stand the wires of the devil. When you are tough meat and you can fight spiritual battles, when you can fight spiritual battles, then you are ready. You got all these people come to some pastors and bishops. And there's some of the silly things they do. Silly things. Trying to cast out demons. And the guy's just drunk. Having a cigarette. Trying to be seen as men. Look at me. There was some Muslim come along. A Muslim housewife. Cooking chapati and chervis. And cook your brain in the process. They had to relax. You had to relax. Away from preaching. And you come along. As if we're not revived now. Rebranded. She made mismeat of your brain. You don't know who Jesus is. I can read you text after text. Every part of the Bible I can read and prove to you Jesus Christ is divine. Every chapter from Exodus. When, when, when you know Jesus, nobody can come along and make mismeat out your brain. But you're too busy worshipping your church and worshipping your pastors. You don't know who Jesus is anymore. You don't have a voice to listen to anymore. I'm going to talk about voices getting really grovelly now. It gets me angry when I when I see these, you know, so-called street preachers being demolished by these two pennyworths, two bit, and they go out there. It's almost like they want to be worshipped. They're the same with um, what's his name, um, Bishop. Bishop Jennings and David and David Lee, where they were out there trying to cast out demons in people. You know, trying to cast out demons to the people. Oh, look at me. And they couldn't do it. They were struggling. By the time you see that, you can't cast out a simple demon. And something is wrong. You, you know, you're supposed to have the power of God with you, representing you. And you fail, something is wrong. It should have been a wake-up call by then. Oh, I'm getting out of here.